Jess's pussy made the news. No. I don't know if you guys heard about that rat hole. <laughs> Thank God she didn't live in New York or the Jews would be using it as passage to a synagogue. <laughs> I hate that you open with that, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Edgar Allan Codependent, you know? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Little Debbie Downer over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, why do you sound like a second grade truck driver? <laughs> I don't know. All right. You sound like a... Glad you wore the jacket. They can't see that BB, the Brazilian butt lift you got at 30. Yeah, she got a Brazilian butt lift. It's, it's, I wish the Brazilians could lift anything else, honestly. <laughs> Literally, would you pay with it with food stamps? Yeah. You got a BBL with your EBT? No, I tried. Uh, all right, uh, Kyle, <laughs> rotten mouth. <all> right. <laughs> You look like you don't eat pussy, you, you kind of jimmy rig it, you know? <laughs> what the fuck have you been doing with that mouth? Mining ore? <laughs> you're, you're built like a Rorschach test. Yeah. So? That's literally her silhouette. That's not a Rorschach test. <laughs> what do you guys see? I see mom issues. What do you guys see? That's hurtful. I do have mom issues, you know? <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> uh, Kiefer likes his women like uh, he likes his coffee. Uh, definitely not black, you know? <laughs> We're all. <laughs> I know that was you bought a clan outfit. That is <laughs> yeah. true. I didn't know Lane Bryant sold clan outfits. <laughs> uh, listen, this might be a roast, but we're all really here for Kiefer to tell us if there's going to be six more weeks of winter. <laughs> wow. Fucking. Okay. <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh for this <laughs> Listen, this motherfucker. I told you I was sensitive. He, he went to art school just to go to trade school and then pursued stand up. Why don't you cut off your own ears so you can hear how fucking stupid you are? Wow. She, this is coming from a suicidal girl. She's gonna kill herself, but uh, she stopped because no one was paying attention. I need more followers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I fucking hate this piece of shit. Wow. If uh, it, it, to explain the look on Kiefer's face, he he might look a little sullen. And that's because Listerine killed off about 99.9% .9 of his family. So. You were literally built like the box my stove came in. <laughs> yeah, and you put the German German, so. I like your haircut, though. It's very, like, cut my wrist and black my wife's eyes. You know? <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, uh, centaur is uh, a man's head on a horse. And Jess is a pill head on a man's body. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, so Kiefer's a locksmith, he's a welder. Yeah. What do you do, Jess? <laughs> Other than follow your ex-boyfriends around. <laughs> Give it up for Jess. Uh, finally, her 80-year-old husband died, I guess. Uh, she got that jacket. I have quite the inheritance. If you had a daughter, I bet you'd never tell her she's pretty. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> she can never wear shorts around my new husband, either. It would be a boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to 
Anyway, he's a welder and he's a fucking locksmith. He'll do anything, you know, other than ask for women's permission. <laughs> it's amazing to me that, you know, that you're a locksmith, that you haven't unlocked your potential. And it also amazes me that you're a welder, yet you couldn't keep your marriage together. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good uh <laughs> fuck you for that how do you know i follow him around sometimes? jess is the ugliest <laughs> jess is the ugliest girl i've ever fucked and i fucked oh, gypsy yeah. rose oh shut up yeah, and listen, I had to fuck three women just to get the taste of sad loser out of my mouth, all right? I think your body just produces that. <laughs> he has HPV, by the way, anyway. From you, dude. <laughs> Sorry Jess about that. Jess is a shoplifter. She'll steal anything but a vegetable. <laughs> I like my cards. How many do we got I'm left? Are we have... This is coming from this piece of shit, you know what I mean? All right. I don't fucking, I blew all my jokes out of you. Hang on, no, 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 no. I know, dude, I really wish that. I could just like, you know, just look at him. You know what I mean? Jess has an elephant tattoo on her thigh and somewhere there's an elephant with a Jess tattoo on it. <laughs> Give it up for him. Brandon's never opened up a door for a woman, but he will yeah. walk right in front of her when she's trying to go through it. There we go. Give it up for both of them. Wasn't that fucking fantastic? Jesus Christ. Cruella de Villain, one of the dogs she's trying to kill. This is fucking fantastic. All right, let's keep it moving. Josh Adam Myers, what do you uh, think? Fantastic from both of you guys. Give them a huge round of applause because they deserve it. Um, it you, you won it with, with the Rorschach thing. I don't know if you knew. Do you wear that jacket a lot? And this is how you, that's your vibe? Because that was, you won immediately. And then you really solidified it when she didn't have a funny joke for the last four minutes of her being up there. But you both, but the, before that, it was the set of the night for both you guys. Congratulations. I'm giving it to you, okay? All right, one for Brandon, one for Brandon. Tori Kilkenny. I, I just love the look of you two up here because it's like if the caveman from the Geico commercials and Flo from Progressive sold insurance for meth labs. <laughs> Which is kind of, which is kind of a good yeah, look for no, the two of you. Um, but uh, Jess, you brought the mean the whole time. You had the consistency. Kiefer, your heaters really hit, and then you really kept it going in the interim. So I'm giving it to Kiefer. All right, two for Kiefer. Two for Kiefer. Uh, first of all, you both talk like you were once in a bus accident. So that's that was fun to watch. Um, Jess, I wanted to give it to you the whole time until Kiefer kept swinging and you stopped swinging, so I'm giving it to Kiefer. So. All right. Kiefer gets it. I want to hear from Aaron, though. I want to say this. It's been an honor to be a part of this. It felt like this round was uh, the major leagues, and this is a lot of back and forth. I want to apologize to Brandon. I didn't laugh hard in the moment, but I'd Google what Lane Bryant is, and that's a very funny joke. That's a, that's a store for uh, bigger women. So it never just started that. I card art for I women. Would, it's card art for women. <laughs> Dirty broads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have laughed harder in the moment. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna disagree with the rest of the panel to a point. I thought Jessica had it with that welding joke. I thought that was the. I thought that was the uppercut. And I was ready to give it to you, Jessica. But then you came with the abortion thing, Brandon, and it was or the elephant thing. And uh, oh, wow, I'm getting lost in it. What a fun time. Uh, I got, I took a lot of notes and I, and then I lost track of what was what, but I'm going to give it to Brandon. I'm sorry. All right, Brandon wins it. But Hell very funny. Very funny. Hell very funny. Hell of a battle for Jessica. Hell of a battle for Brandon. Thank you guys so much. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Get loud for both of them. Come on, let them hear it. That's a main event right there. Hey, thanks for watching.
watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.